Hey gents, we're going a little bit casual today for an unboxing of Bird Dog Shorts. I picked these up after, it's been a highly requested company. They have very tongue in cheek and slightly aggressive marketing. And I don't know that they're exactly positioned against Chubbies, but I think they're pretty much positioned against Chubbies. So today we're gonna unbox these, talk about them a little bit. I'll wear them for a few weeks and then give you my overall thoughts. And without further ado, let's dive into the unboxing. Make sure you subscribe, learn about the best menswear on the internet, see more companies like this, and give a thumbs up for free balling. All right. All right, so it's been a few weeks with the bird dogs and I made a chart to help illustrate my feelings on the bird dogs uh, since I ordered them. So right here. So on the x-axis we have time and on the y-axis we have satisfaction. At first I saw the ads, I thought it was cute advertising, but I'm not into it. They're not for me, uh, not really crazy about them. Looks more like a snarky chubbies. First hash mark on here, which is when my satisfaction had risen, is that I like the website is well laid out. They have plenty of options for sizing, inseam, fits, and colors. I do like that. And as I looked a little bit more into it, you know, it's $59.99, it's higher price, but high quality product. It's like Lululemon stuff, except it's designed to not look like Lululemon exercise stuff, so you can wear them to the gym and outside of the gym. And then the second hash mark comes in at the unboxing stage. And that initial disappointment comes in a couple of places. First, they are too casual, in my opinion, out of the box to be worn as like a golf short. I would not wear these golfing with a polo, just something about the fit, the way that they look, they look too casual to be worn in as like, if your business was office casual, I wouldn't wear these myself to there. Uh, I'm not crazy about the logo up on the top back saying bird dogs. I yeah, put them on, they're comfortable, but the lining didn't exactly convince me at the time that I couldn't, I could go for them without boxers. It's a big thing you see on the bird dogs shorts is that you're supposed to free ball in them and not wear any underwear because they are lined. But I have them in the studio. I want to give them a good field test. They've been requested a ton of times before and I want to figure out who they are for and what they are for. So as I go on more on the website, I see more just like the way that their marketing set up and the box has all these sayings on them. I think it's for, it's not for me, but it's definitely an approach that you can capture customers. So I wear them for a few weeks. My satisfaction does increase as they go because I find them to be very comfortable. I find myself wanting to put them on after I get home to like wear these around the house. And then I do realize that the lining is substantial enough. It's got this nice fin and finish to it that I do not need to wear underwear with them. Then that hash mark where you start to see a lot of increased satisfaction is how well they hold up after a wash. So a lot of the clothes that I get in the lower price tiers of products, especially from like Trendy Butler and 5-4 Club or Menlo Club now is that stuff like deteriorates in the wash. And so a big thing for me is understanding how a fabric or a material is gonna wear after the laundry and this holds up really well. It's a four pocket design, so you have two huge pockets on the sides where you could fit a giant phone, uh, you could fit some other things, and so nice big pockets on the sides. And then over on the right side, you have a horizontal pocket, which is slightly smaller. I could fit my wallet in here, but it's gonna be something uh, a little bit smaller than that. I actually fit my iPhone SE or my iPhone 5S size phone in there. On the left side, you have a vertical pocket with a nice high quality zipper. This when you talk about the fit and finish, it has nice fit and finish to it. It's like totally hidden, except for when you want to unzip it. And this actually goes backwards into the pocket, so you can fit like keys or something. The inner lining does feel like a premium boxer brief, and so, it has basically eliminated underwear when I'm wearing these around the house for me. So I start to realize that they're not truly for me in every way. If I'm expecting these to be like my one end all be all short for the whole summer, I think that goes to Ministry of Supply. You know, my chart on the satisfaction with that would just be like, up, started up high and kept going up because those can be worn to golf, their performance and everything else. They are almost double the price, however. And now after talking to my wife about it a little bit, she says that these would be great for casual wear. She really likes the look of these and so I'm slowly being won over. So now I'm very satisfied with bird dogs. I do think some of the marketing is still off-putting, not crazy about that, but I like the design and the color scheme. But one of the things that I really embrace about a company like Four Laps, who I've talked about before, is they've got these great like 
red, white, and blue vintage inspired colors and I really like that type of style. And with bird dogs, you can get all black ones. I picked these blue Oxford ones because this is like the baby blue that's really prevalent in all the James Bond films. Plus it matches my custom terry cloth romper, which I'll get to that in a separate video. If I were to go back and do it again, I probably wouldn't get the Oxford ones. I think the finish on these is finds itself in an interesting place. Like I don't really wanna wear these to run or to the gym because they look like they should be shorts, but they're not. The way that they're designed isn't really set so that you can wear them as shorts. Like I wouldn't want to wear these out to like a casual restaurant. So they're they're in an interesting spot, but they do get a big thumbs up because you do get free shipping and they have a 30 day return policy, even if you wear them. So it's kind of like the underwear companies. So quality fit, style, value, and overall experience. Quality, there's a grade A quality. These are made with Lululemon style materials. The fit, I really like the fact that you can get small through triple XL, but then you also choose your inseam. So you really can tone in and get the perfect fit on this. I chose the medium inseam, which has been perfect for me so far. They're a little bit wider than I would prefer around my legs, but they're meant to be gym shorts, not like nice form-fitting shorts. That's where I'd go if you want something more like that. Uh, the Woody shorts I just opened up, I'm still, I'm, I'm loving those. The style on these is like a three out of five star. I'm not crazy about the logo on the back. I do like the color block options on the other things, but I'm disappointed in this Oxford because even though it has belt loops and it has, no, it's just not exactly hitting it for me. As far as value goes, at $59.99, these are quite high, but the way that these hold up over time, over the past few weeks, washing, wearing them, the fact that they have this lining and so you don't need to wear underwear with them necessarily, I do think that they are giving you a good value for that $59.99. And overall experience, they nailed it. Basically, it's got a nice, clean, simple website. They use a very easy to order form, free shipping both ways. And so, boom, that's a, I'd say one, one and a half thumbs up um, for me on the bird dogs, but if that's something that you're looking for, I think go for it. So there you have it, gents. Let me know what you think about bird dogs. If you have any questions about the product or company that I can answer, do that down in the comments. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. I also got some great questions from you guys over there. I put a picture up saying I was gonna review them, and so if you wanna follow me along and to see some behind the scenes stuff, and as I put together videos, that's a great place to do it. I'll put links below to bird dogs. If there is some sort of discount, it'll be down there. And until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.